thou weapon. And it shall be when thou wilt eat, thou said abroad. Thou shalt dig the airwave and shall turn back and do what? Are you reading with me? Yes. What will you do? Cover what? That is. Cover that which is what? Come full of thee. Come full of thee. The fourteen verses for the Lord thy God does what? He walk in the midst of that camp. camp. Is that right? He walk in the midst of that camp to deliver thee and, and to give up thy enemies before thee. Is that right? Amen. Therefore shall that camp be what? Your camp should be holy. Is that right? That he see no what? I can't hear you. Uncleanness. That he sees no unclean deed, unclean thing in thee, and turn away from thee. Say neighbor, neighbor. Cleanliness, cleanliness is godliness. Is godliness. Uh -uh. Here God is saying here, when you are going to warfare, even if you are not a warfare, but your weapon, your weapon of warfare should have a pedal that you will mostly use it for digging ground. Digging ground. Because during those days, there were no portable outhouse. Okay. There were no camo that you can sit on. Especially so on the battlefield, you don't carry <laughs> tallest or stool with you. But here God is insisting that even on your weapon of warfare, it could be your sword or your gun or whatever you have. Today we are in the time now where the soldiers, some of them carry a little shovel with them. Is that right? Amen. The garish little shovel with them in their bike box. For many reasons. But let us stretch on cleanliness. Now what the Bible is saying here, the, the 13th verse. I want you to understand the 13th verse here. And thou shalt have a pedal upon thy weapon. And it shall be when thou will ease, thou said abroad. <laughs> When you shall sit down to eat yourself to get rid of the waste in your body, that thou shalt dig the away and do what? And shall turn by and cover thou which cometh full of thee. Is that right? Cover full of thee. Don't just leave your screeching out there. Cover it up. Even the animals, the cats. <laughs> you are no cats. I huh? no. I like to dig the ground. Yes. Sit down, easy and set, and cover it up. Yes. Hello. Because our God that we said, he is, he is clean. He, he is clean. What he's saying, he said, I'm walking among you. I'm walking with you. I'm visiting your home. I'm visiting your family. I gave my angel charge over thee that they will be with you 24 7. Now look at what the 14th verse is saying here. For the Lord thy God walk in the midst of your camp. Therefore keep your camp clean. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, for the Lord thou God walk in the midst of that camp to deliver thee and to give up thy enemies before thee. Therefore, oh, in the name of Jesus, shall thou can be holy, that he see uh, no unclean things in thee, and turn away from thee. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise Lord. Say neighbor, neighbor. cleanliness is what? It's godliness. Cleanliness is next to godliness. 
when we talking about being clean, God yes insists on spiritual cleanliness. God insists on holiness. Is that right? Yeah. He told uh, Isaiah, "Touch not anything that is unclean." God insists on that. Don't touch the dead. Mm -hmm. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise I know Lord. some folks love to, to spend time in the cemetery. Mm -hmm. Those are not places for a lively human being to spend time. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And we can go into in so many, in so many ways. So many ways, we, we, people will issue the blood. Keep yourself away from them. Hallelujah. But now, that all stretch on spiritual cleanliness. Yeah. We know we are in a time where almost 10% of American are hooders. Oh, yes. Oh, Bishop, that's not your business. No, I'm, I'm, I'm reading to you what is in the Bible. I'm not making it up. Cleanliness is what? It next to God in this. You are praying every day for God to visit you. Hello, when you, as a human being, when you are inviting guests in your house, don't you clean your house? When Amen. you are inviting your peers for barbecue in your house, That's right. don't you clean your house? Mm -hmm. When visitor is coming in your home, don't you clean your house? Mm -hmm. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, the old folks used to tell us, oh, before you leave this house, make sure that you get some clean other clothes. Mm -hmm. But you don't know why you want to even gonna fall out there mm -hmm. and somebody may pick you up. Mm -hmm. The after they may pick you up. Some of them say praise the Lord. Praise Lord. Because the doctors themselves they are human beings. The nurses themselves they are human beings. No matter how smart they be smart to you, they some of them don't let us see that they are close. So our old folks used to tell us, or some still do today. Miss Show yes, on some clean on the clothes. Is that right? So God is saying here, I am not a man to behold a field. Somebody said, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am not a man to behold a field. You inviting me in your place of dwelling? Please. Uh, try to refresh it. Mm -hmm. You asking me to refresh your home. Mm -hmm. You asking me to refresh, to put my refreshment on you. Somebody said, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There's a saying that what goes around does what comes around. So God is saying here, I'm a God that love cleanliness. Mm -hmm. So keep your dwelling clean that when I visit, I will be willing to visit you. Remember, the Bible says unto us that when Adam was in the garden, God used to come down in the cool of the evening mm -hmm. to visit him. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Or oh, Adam had a lot of work to do because he was among animals. With, oh yes, I mean, that's my just thinking. Do you know the kind of work Adam used to do just to invite the presence of God? Mm -hmm. He used to keep the animals to their beds till the devil got in and contaminated his body contaminated his mind as a result God kept away from him he lost his communication with God he lost his relationship with God he's the same God yesterday today and what and forever but see the more God visit you the more the enemies keep away from you somebody say praise the Lord the more God visit your home the more the angels of God around your home, the more the angels of God around you, it keep demons away from you. Mm -hmm. Some of them say, praise the, Lord. praise the Lord. I mean, this is what God is telling us here. That, ah, the 14th, let me read the 14th verse again. 
For the Lord thou God walk in the midst of your camp. The scripture says where two or three gather together in his name. He will always be in the midst. Brother, hear the reason why healing are not taking place today in the churches because they invite all kinds of demonic spirit in the church. They invite lesbian spirit. They invite gay spirit. They invite all kinds of witchcraft just to keep the crowd around. Mm -hmm. Is that right? True. Somebody say praise the, praise the Lord. Yet our door is not closed to nobody. Our door is open to anybody that wants to come to this church. But this, we, we purpose it in our hearts that the least we can do is to keep this sanctuary clean Amen. for God to come and heal his people, for God to come and minister to us, for God to come and fellowship with us, for God to come and bless us. Yes. So we stretch on all the time. Every now and then, try to remind ourselves, yes, yeah, you are welcome, but you are welcome to come and help us to worship the Lord. Yes, but yes. this is not a place to practice your craft. All right, all right. So let's say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, because we are not doing it for money. We are doing it to continue to have a genuine relationship with God. Is that right? Say so neighbor. Neighbor. We need uh, genuine, we need genuine relationship, relationship with God. Relationship with God. 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 Is that right, sister? Amen. Is that right, brothers? Amen. You would like to walk in the church to always feel the presence of God. Amen. You would like to walk in the church to always feel that God is communicating with you. Amen. You would like to walk in the church, my goodness, when you have gone through all the week with all kinds of forces coming at you. Amen. You would like to walk in the yes. church to feel the freedom yes. Yes. and the peace. Somebody yes. say hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, yes, yeah. Somebody say glory to God. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. This is what God is saying. Say, I'm walking them in your midst. But when I walk in your midst, I want to see some clean brothers. I want to see some clean sisters. Man. I want to see the sanctuary filled with Holy Ghost filled people. Mm -hmm. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. I like to see the, the sanctuary filled and praise God with, with, with the words of holiness. Amen. Somebody shout say hallelujah. hallelujah. That's why. I'm content, brothers and sisters. I'm content in whatever stage that I am in. I have learned to be hunger. I have learned to be filled. God has taught me to be without, and God has taught me to be away. So in every stage that I'm in, I'm seeking the Lord every day. Praise Him. When you are clean in the sight of God, can no enemies do you any harm. Say, say neighbor, neighbor, when you are clean, you are clean. in the sight of God, sight of God. can no demons, no demons do you any harm. any harm. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. When you are clean in the sight of God, can no devil do you any harm. But God sent his holy angels to guide you and to protect you. Some of us say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let, let's turn to 1 Samuel chapter 7 and 3 in the 10th verse. 1 Samuel chapter 7. We got to a few more to go. We may not finish it today, but uh, let us do what we can do this morning. Some of us say praise the Lord. Praise 1 God. Samuel chapter 7 verse 3 says, and Samuel speak unto all the house of Israel, saying, If ye do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, and put away the strange gods and asteroids from among you, and prepare your heart unto the Lord, and serve him only. Somebody say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And serve him only. And what will he do? He shall deliver you out of the hands of the Philistines. You understand what God is saying here? If you 
lay aside every sin in every way that may easily come between you and God. If you turn your back on your superstition, God, your vain imagination, and cleave only to God Almighty. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And cleave to God and say him. In the name of Jesus, he will be there as a deliverer. Say neighbor, God is a deliverer. It's a neighbor. Amen. God is a deliverer. Is he will be there as a deliverer to deliver you from all of your illness. 